August Artois basically starting a riot here on the way to the ring. Absolutely wild. Of course, you heard the situation here. August Artois back at heat stroke, actually coming up short against Frick because of a miscue involving superstar Sean Davis tripping August by mistake. And August was so mad, he pushed down Sean. We thought there was trouble in paradise, but Sean came in and he said, look, I'm sorry, man. I, not only do I apologize, but guess what? When Karam lost the FIP World Heavyweight Championship, Sean Davis owned the contract to who got the rematch against Lucky Ali. Sean gave the contract to August Artois, who, by the way, it's like a riot in here of trash being thrown at August. Think about the wars between August Artois and Lucky Ali. We know this is going to be one hell of a main event match. What? What the hell is going on? John Davis stabbing August Artois right in the back. Brian Brock savagely attacking. Trevin. He didn't mean a word he said. You're absolutely right. How duplicitous is superstar Sean Davis and Buckshot Brian Brock? What is what is happening here? Oh, God! Total betrayal. The cowbell to the head of August Archois. 
Sean Davis is spitting on August. Spitting on the carcass of August. The fans letting Sean Davis know. August is bleeding. Bust it open. Brian Brock. They're gonna, no! Hanging him! Get him down! Get him down! You're choking the life out of him! Even Lucky's out here. Lucky Ali's out here trying to stop it. And then what the hell is the set doing out here? It's total, complete bedlam. Here's the OCC. There's four men. Four men are attacking. Lucky Ali, the official, got tossed out of the ring. Sean Davis directing traffic out there. Total carnage. And you see the blood on the face of, of August Artois. Come on! Completely out of line. And August... Chungus and Scythe are doing out here. Who, who doesn't Davis have in his back pocket at this point, Trevin? This is getting out of control, Ron. This is too much. This is too much. Lucky Ali. Trevin, where the hell's he going? Trevin Adams on his way to the ring. We've lost all control here at Mercury Rising at the OCC Roadhouse, even. Sean Davis seemingly paying off half the roster. Lucky Ali is being mobbed like a gang attack. August Artois being completely set up to... No! My God. Nobody coming to the save for August due to years. Trevin trying to signal to the back for help. Only men. In shock here, folks. Again, after years of terrorizing WWN, nobody to help August Atois. Lucky Ali, the only man to try to do anything. And he paid the price. What? John Davis completely out of control. Kiacho and his men, goons I should say. Trevin with the referee trying to take the limp body of August to the back and the 
attack continues. Now, Lucky Ali forced into somehow in a position after a heinous attack and beatdown. Now he's got to face Brian Brock. Trevin, you all right? I'm sorry, Robbie. That Gotta get that mic away from Sean Davis. How is this even happening? Sean Davis with, I mean, just a full scale attack involving so many personalities and dangerous, dangerous men. I'm worried about August Altrois. Words I, I never thought I would say. No, as soon as I got him back there with TJ, there's literally an ambulance opening doors right now to take August Artois. I don't, you know me, Ron, I don't normally get anywhere near that, never. But the bottom line was that was out of control. I can't believe we're having this heavyweight championship match. Credit to Lucky that he's agreeing to even have this fight. Assuming he had the oof, informed consent to I actually agree. Not, I'm not sure he's agreed or not agreed. He's just found himself in the middle of something. And he's the type of guy when he finds himself in the middle of something, he tends to finish that something his way. I, I'm just at a loss. Hey, I'm just hearing chaos from the backstage area. A lot of, sounds like panic back there, and I don't like it, but Sean Davis, man. I'm, and, and think about it, Lucky Ali came in here, prepared to face August Artois, a man that August and Lucky nearly destroyed each other as, as Lucky's being choked out here. Those two culminated in all or nothing back in May 2022, FIP. It was insane, the whole building, the ring was used as a weapon. It was absolute chaos, but there was a respect at the end of that fight. But you're seeing no respect here as Lucky's having the post used to choke. Who knows what damage is being done here by this monster Brock. How personal of this issue, how, I mean, seriously, how personal has it become for Sean Davis to unleash what we just witnessed here tonight at the OCC Roadhouse? That I, 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 I saw people literally supporting in trying to urge August Artois to do anything, try to mount any comeback, but how do you do that against a gang? Oh, that's what that was. There was six men involved on top of Brian Brock and Sean Davis, that's eight. That was insane. That was insane, but yet yeah, Lucky Ali, who was mugged by the set, is having this match, is defending that FIP World Heavyweight Championship. Well, and he kind of found himself in a situation where I credited him with being the only one to try to make the save, but I just think it was wrong place, wrong time, and they were fighting common enemies. And I'm here to tell you, you've got to find any type of common ground with the likes of a guy like Lucky Ali. You have common enemies, That's you got to do what you got to do to fight, to get out of that situation, live to fight another day. And hopefully that's what Lucky's going to do. You hear WWE Faithful trying to get behind Lucky, but Brock, the big man, all of that weight, just being out here, think about it. Brian Brock been in the sport well over a decade. Lucky Ali, as he says up next, has done so much in a short time in the sport, but just when Lucky was getting an opportunity here to fight back, Brian cuts him off. Brock, so reminiscent of the legendary Terry Gordy. See a lot of Stan Hansen in this man as well, too. He's just, just a big guy, a true hoss. Oof. Like a catcher Smith, that giant hand of his. And, and really like a, I mean truthfully, he's like a hired hand for Sean Davis. We've seen this for, for months, years at this point here in FIP when it comes to Heartbreak Enterprises and the way Buckshot just, whatever Sean says, Buckshot's ready to, hell, Sean can't control Buckshot half the time. Well, we also seen with Sean for, for going all the way back to his days that he was competing, the level of violence and bloodshed that he's willing to unleash in WWN is unparalleled. You look at the old library. Wow, what a power slam. Could it be a new champ? Wow, Lucky kicks out. And I'm not even going to pretend to be impartial here. I'm glad Lucky kicked out, Rod. Well, like you were saying, you go look at the archives of FIP and Heartbreak Express and the blood that has come out of the forehead of, of superstar Sean Davis. You, know, you always want the fans to go home happy. And I'm here to tell you, Lucky Ali getting the victory here tonight will 
It may send them home happy, but they're not going to forget what they saw happen to August Artois here tonight. No. I, and I'm telling you, there's going to be fines. I don't care that this match is happening. There is going, oh, going for that big Larry. It could have been the end, but Lucky trying to pull down Brock, but Brock's just too much for Lucky. Such a big guy, man, but also just a great athlete. And Lucky wow. Ali. Yeah, the hair Karana was going to be a pimp, and then going into right hands after being able to hit that chin breaker as well. And I'm telling you, Lucky Ali is just such an adaptable athlete. I've watched Lucky face some of the best in the sport, and Lucky finds a way. Lucky always finds a way, Ron. But that tailbone may not be finding oh a way. Oh my god, that was nasty. And he's still somehow on his feet. This guy is just unbelievable, man. I gave you the look when he came down on that ring apron, like, oh my god, that nasty. Your spine, lower back, everything just taking so much shock. Ooh, right into the guardrail, too. And if Lucky's not feeling it yet, I'm telling you, Lucky might not be walking after the way that spine hit. Oh. But just think back to heat stroke. It was a crazy all championships on the line. Anything goes main event with the Proving Ground Championship, the then ACW Heavyweight Championship that Lucky Ali held, the FIP Florida Heritage Championship, and the FIP World he Heavyweight Championship being held by Karam. Lucky won that match. It was amazing. Lucky was able to persevere, finally gets the biggest championship win in his career, and, and now we could be seeing the end of Lucky's career. Referee. Kai, Kai Douglas is still out for He's being still tossed down. out. I feel absolutely terrible that we had no idea he was still down. Everybody forgot about old Kai. Somebody get him out of there. Uh, it, again, things broke down. It went to levels we don't do here, which is why I left my position at the broadcast board. I was right behind you, Trevin. I'm just elderly and a little slower than you youngsters. I, I take this whole idea of ambassador as the representative of the company, but I'm a go-between often with the WWN officials, which is why I was willing to, to put myself at risk to try to stop this madness. And what also have the feeling of when does this spill over into the crowd? Oh, well, yeah, it just uh, complete all control was lost. Or when does the crowd come the other right, direction? Right, that's it. Come over the guardrail. You know, they were seeing a lot more than, uh, again, we've seen some violence here at FIP and WWN, but that was just, just ugly stuff, nasty. Trying to end a career. That's absolutely, the man was choked to the point that I'm worried about what damage was done. I'm worried about how long the oxygen wasn't even there. But August wasn't cognizant. When I went in the ring, I threw up the X because August was not cognizant. We don't even know what happened. And honestly, I hated that we had to move him. But now coming in, sunset flip, come on, Lucky. Oh, no. uh, you're you're exactly right. I know cheerleading is really never uh, appropriate for commentators, but how how do we not get behind this guy? To, I mean, overcoming the odds. Yeah, that crossbody into the pin. Ah, oh, damn it! Buckshot is just so damn tough, Ron. He really is. Just like a bull, constantly coming forward. Attacking has that devious mind of Sean Davis on the outside. Lucky needs to have eyes in the back of his head. But what blows me away here is being able to come back from what we saw happen to Lucky not all that long ago. Just insane. Look at the strength. Yeah, the suplex and splashing in there. What's Lucky got next? I told you, Lucky's offense. So innovative. Caught though by Brock, maybe took our cameraman out. Everybody's going, no, oh, no. Oh, Good lucky. way to blow out an ankle trap. Oh, caught by the Larian, no, no, no. Genius move by Brian Brock. Able to capitalize on the miscue by Lucky Ali, who I was awfully worried about him blowing out his knee or ankle on that, but instead nearly gets Decapitated. Thought we were to be looking at a new champ. We've seen Buckshot definitely take off heads with that Lariat, and there it is again. And I think this is it. God, we have a new champion. What a tragic way for this title reign to end, Trevin. 
superstar Sean Davis has architected absolute, what the hell? What the hell? That's August Archois. How the hell is August Archois? Oh. Sean Davis getting a receipt in the form of a steel chair across the back. And of all people to be coming out to make the save for Lucky Ali and sends a message loud and clear, I'm coming for you, Brock. How in the hell is, 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 is August walking and you see even Lucky's in shock and you notice Buckshot quickly pill it, picking up that bull rope. Knowing he needs a weapon to keep August away. This is, this is absolute chaos, Ron. Well, to see August even on his feet, just amazing after the insanely sick attack levied against him here not 20 minutes or so ago. Lucky Ali turns around to look at his bitter rival standing in the center of the ring. 